going to make a stool for Laura's piano so that she can sit and play uh, piano when she feels like. Uh, and I am going to start with the height of the stool and there is like eight centimeters here and I'm going to take off a centimeter so it's like seven centimeters. So that's the height of my chair. I have these old Chinese uh, eating sticks that we don't use and I'm going to use those for the legs because I like the way that it's getting thinner when we get down there so I'm going to make a mark at seven centimeters because that's how tall I want my chair to be so I have all four legs here cut and I sanded them a bit up here because uh, that's the legs and now I want to know how wide and long I want it so I'm going back to my doll. I think we can see the behind of her here. She is sitting right here right now. So I'm just going to measure. So to have her sitting here is like eight centimeters. I'm going to go for ten as I like as I like it to be a bit uh wider for her and then I'm going to turn her around here and you shouldn't do that but I'm going to show her behind off here and it's like kind of wide so I am going for five centimeters wide five times ten that is my measurements ten times uh, ten centimeter wide and remember we want the legs and I'm going to put the legs in in the corner so I'm actually going to put them in here and I'm going to measure from the legs and yes they're not going to sit two here but one in each end but it's easier to place them together and then measure out 10 centimeters that's right there we need the five centimeters in the width so I am going to place it again and against my ruler here like that and that's five that's right here I got my parts I got the four legs at seven centimeters I got the sides uh, and they are 3.6 centimeters and the long ones are um, 8.6 so that's the part parts that we need um, and I have some Lego here it makes a lot of things easier uh, so I'm going to take some of my wood glue put some glue on one of the, these pieces that's a lot so I'm just going to do like that so I have on two here so I'm placing that and the leg and that's not gonna work So I'm placing it on the leg and here. So it's actually being placed a little on the middle on the leg. What is going to make it a little uh, less bigger, taller than I really wanted it to be, but that's all fine. And so it's going to be here. So I'm going to put some glue on this leg and place it right there and that is crooked placing this little piece and I am going to glue the last leg on as well to be placed there and then the last piece going in between these two legs there we go it has been drying for some time now and I am going to measure out because I want a tiny piece here at the bottom of this so I'm just going to measure out and I'm going to cut that out 
I cut my piece and I sanded it a bit and I'm going to take two uh, of my Lego pieces and place this little piece on top of it, on top of them. And then I'm going to glue it in place. And I'm going to let it all dry for maybe tomorrow, I think. So I'm pretty sure it's all really, really good dry. Okay, my creation has dried and I have this putty. And I'm going to take a toothpick and use this for putting in the gaps here. And I'm going to paint it black anyway later, so it's all fine. I'm going to let these dry and then I will sand it a bit before I paint it. This is some hard kind of uh, paper. I glue two pieces together so it's really hard and I'm just going to draw down so this will fit inside of here when I'm done painting it and I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to make a handle for the uh, piano chair and for that I took a piece of paper that I am like bending here on the middle and I'm going to draw on a pattern that I kind of like. That's my design on the one side and I'm, I'm putting it double because I get it uh, right on both sides and I cut it out now. I am going to make a mold for this handle because I know I need two of these so I want to be able to make two there is just a like but you can do it again just like you feel like and when you love your design when you like it this is mine you bake it and make a mold of it. I made a mold of my handle that I designed and I just put some gold clay in there because I want this handles to be gold colored. And I'm just making sure it's picking up everything and every detail in here. It's all in there. And then carefully releasing it of the mold, turning it over. And now I'm going to bend this so that the two pieces here is going to lie flat on my furniture but this part is going up for the handle the what you call it that's what there is to this and I'm going to make two for my little bench that I did color and glaze so it looks like this now so I'm going to make one for each of these ends and then I will glue them on. I painted the hooks here and glued them on so they sit like that. And, oops. I just need the pillow here so I had the piece of uh, cardstock that I cut out that fits in here. Actually it's a bit too small for it because I know that the fabric is coming on there as well. Then I have this foam thing from uh, from the sewing store. You can use that for everything. And I cut that out so it fits down here as well. And it's a bit taller uh, than my furniture and that's fine. So I'm going to take that out place this aside. And then I have this fabric that I really really love. I think this is so cute. Uh, it reminds me a bit of Christmas but 
just like a starry night as well and I like glitter and I like blue so this is just perfect that is actually glitter stars it's hard to see on uh, camera but it is and I'm going to use that uh, for this so I have my hot glue here and let's see if that's hot it is good I'm going to place that and I'm going to glue on this and I ran out. There we go. So I'm going to put glue here and place that on top. And now I'm going to try to work very carefully because uh, the more uh, need you do this, the better the result. So, um, it won't stand. So I'm going to glue on my fabric here so I'm just doing like this squeezing it down here as this is a uh, stretch material I'm going to uh, be a little careful with what I'm, what I'm doing here and I'm going to put some glue here on this edge and this time I'm going to stretch it a bit and watch your fingers this is hot just letting it dry for a second or two my uh, glue gun is like teasing me right now okay I think this is good so I'm just going to take my good scissor and cut off the excess here. You really don't want too much uh, fabric when you're doing the rest of this. So I was wondering if I could like and then I'm going to get these big sides so I'm going to cut the corners off here. Like that. See if that's better. I want it to go in there and then that looks a bit better. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. So I'm cutting off some of the fabric here so I have like a, a tiny thing here. And I'm going to put it just like a present together and I'm going to place some glue up here and I'm going to pull and then glue it down ouch burn that's why I'm not using uh, hot glue that much because I really really hate those strings and now I did it again and I'm going to leave this into my video so you can see how hard this really can be. Some people make this gluing look really, really easy. And I just hate hot glue because I don't think it's that easy. So I'm going to cut this side as well. And the other side. There we go. And carefully... Wrapping it down. And gluing it on. And now all you have to do is let the glue dry and then this part is done. So here is my pillow for my bench my piano bench and you could leave it loose up there but I'm actually going to glue it on here and then just playing it pla placing it carefully down onto the glue yep and that's it the piano bench is all done, 
so now she can sit by her piano and play so that's really really cool so here we have the piano by the bench um, don't mind the wall behind I'm working on a project you will see that later uh, but I'm going to show you here uh, that my piano have got a tiny bit detail I cut out a circle of paper where I cut out um, this um, keyhole of the paper there we go and I painted it gold and placed it on the middle of the front and I made this little part again of paper and painted it gold and put it there uh, for some details on this piano uh, it makes it a bit more realistic looking um, so I have the piano chair here it's actually a bit tall but that's all fine um, so these details really make this piano come alive and I'm thinking of making the candlesticks that normally goes here on these kind of pianos uh, but I'm going to make some uh, research on that before I start that but that's my piano and the piano chair so thank you for watching and happy crafting